Join them with Chris Search following a nice high intensity night of pre-season training. Searchy, a few weeks in now to your first you know, men's management position. How, how have you found it? Yeah, I found it uh, exciting to be honest. It's obviously uh, quite eye-opening. Um, you know, the, the levels in particular. Obviously, I was around it with uh, with Danny and uh, and Rochi a little bit, Minch uh, last year. So um, you know, the, the, the levels were, were 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 very good. And obviously, we, we've um, we've carried out on this year. You know, I'm very uh, very happy with the group that we're putting together. Um, you know, trying to show a little bit of patience, um, not trying to rush into uh, any decisions. Um, you know, fortunate enough to see the um, the release list of um, uh, from Premier League all the way down to Division Two, really, um, and, and sort of fifty percent of the other two players are sort of out of contract, so they, they've got to play football at some level. So it's going to filter down the league. So, you know, our idea with me and Danny and, and Craig was to show a little bit of patience. Obviously, wanted to keep the nucleus of the side together, which we've done. Um, unfortunately, obviously lost Hagee. Um, You know, we wish him all the best. Um, but the, the rest of the boys we wanted to keep, we've kept. So, you know, we had good foundations to work from. Uh, obviously, added uh, Ryan uh, into that uh, equation. Calvin, another good player, looked very exciting. You know, Danny was aware of him before uh, we signed him. Obviously, a bit of an unknown to me, but in the training, looked sharp, looked strong. Uh, and Danny Green, uh, you know, another new addition and, and, and looks absolutely top draw. You know, real good quality on him. Uh, great left foot and uh, brings a little bit of. Um, uh, assurance to our side, if you like, you know, 30 years of age away, and uh, you know, just uh, that little bit more experience along a very uh, young core group that we've got uh, got assembled. So no, at the moment um, things going well. Hopefully, have an update on a goalie situation in the next couple of days, and 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 then obviously with the return of uh, uh, Popo tonight, um, we've got a, a good uh, a good uh, squad assembled. I think. Yeah, and it's starting to get a nice uh, core of the group. Exactly. Obviously, looking ahead. Your first touch in your first game as, as manager of Concord is a, a trip to, at the minute, the weather's saying a rainy south coast in Whitehawk. What are you kind of expecting from that game? Is it just to get yeah, legs in I, and just see what the players are Yeah, are well I, think, I think the first couple of uh, games uh, in pre season, I think, is obviously um, the key is to get the fitness, you know, get everyone to get some minutes under their belt. So, you know, we, we'll, we'll go down there with uh, probably, you know, a, a 20 man outfield squad, if you like, to give everyone. 45 minutes uh, probably be a similar format for us on on Tuesday, but it'll mean that you know we can we can look at a few of the trialists that are coming over the two games um, to see where they stand in the pecking order to see if it's anything we want to pursue. Uh, obviously, gives the boys that we have signed um, decent minutes um, to try and see where they are. Um, you know, figure out how, how they can link up with each other the best uh, the best they can, and then obviously after Tuesday, I think we'll start whittling it down a bit. Um, you know, we've got end of the month. We've got the uh, the Bisham Abbey trip, so I'm hoping to have sort of 90, 95 percent of the uh, the squad sort of assembled and done for that, so we can have a good gathering away, uh, get to know each other a little bit. Obviously, got friendly on the on the Saturday as there, and then obviously a couple of weeks later we've got to start of the season. So, you know, I, I'm happy where we are at the moment. You know, I think there's you know a couple of boys coming today good links with some couple of pro clubs so there's doors opening all the time still and we you know and we're in a strong position so at the moment I think uh, yeah things are good and looking forward to the certainly the first uh, men's football uh, management uh, day on Saturday wet or sunny it doesn't matter <laughs> you've touched there on the new season being what four weeks away now yeah the first six games I'm going to read out quickly is Dawkins at home, Oxford away, Hampton home, Welling away, Hemel home, Mason away. And when I chatted to Lewis, our secretary, I said we probably couldn't have got six harder games at the start of the season. Yeah. Are you looking forward to those challenges? No, absolutely. I think that's. Uh, I mean, a challenge it's going to be, but at the end of the day, it is, it is what it is. You know, we 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 know where we are in the league. You know, we've been established here for numerous years now, so. I think this, um, you know, this underdog mentality, um, we, we can start sort of shaking that off at some stage. I think because, as I say, we are established at this level. I think the recruitment from the other sides, when you look around, um, they, they've done they recruited very well. Um, you know, Dorkin are always going to be strong. You know, first game, you know, we we, we know what to expect with them. They've you know, got a 29-man squad. You know, it's, it's probably going to be twice as many as what we'll have on uh, signed on as such. So. They're going to be strong. Um, the other sides, you know, you, you, you touched on there. I think the, the, the first three games, or sorry, the first five games, I think three of the sides will certainly be expected to be in and around the, 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 the top two or three, you know. So there's no doubt it's going to be a tough start for us. But 
it is what it is, you know, and, and, and we need to rise to the occasion and, and see where we are. You know, it's a challenge for us. It's 11 v 11 at the end of the day, so and, and, and that's very much where we're going with the group. You know, the, the, the group know that, you know, what's expected of them. Um, that we, I know we can compete. I've got no worries about that. It's, you know, of course we, we're going to need a bit of the rubber or the green and, and whatever else, but, you know, the boys are, are going to be ready. You know, we're going to be fit. We're going to be um, up for the challenge. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we get on. Finally, then, just two final things before you finish off, because I know that the lady <laughs> yeah. wants to go home, and that's the way. Um, England, obviously, got through to yeah. the Euros final last night. I never thought I'd see that in my lifetime, and I'm only 20, so I think how you're feeling. Yeah. Um, we've seen over the last couple of weeks how unified that England team has been on a whole host of different issues. Is, yeah. is that something you maybe take inspiration from, from, from Gareth and his back team, think, on how you want to yeah, unify the I team think, here? I think 100%. I think you, know, you, you look at what he's done, um, you know, and don't, I, I was questioning some of his decisions, as I always will do. You know, football's about opinions, so, you know, you, you might question the amount of fullbacks he took all the decisions he made at times but at the end of the day the proof's in the pudding and, and he's got it right it's a fair play to Gareth you know at the end of the day I think he has united the nation irrelevant of, of maybe us not agreeing with some of the, the choices he made he's got it right he's got us to the final and, and he's made the nation you, you sort of unite behind it and, and you know we, we do hope that he does bring it home so and I hope he does because uh, you know it will uh, it will give us a spring and a step for what's been a tricky couple of years you know so I hope he does it, um, and uh, yeah. And on the subject of you saying it coming home, obviously when we caught up about four or five weeks yes. ago now, you did say, and I'll ask you to click that clip in if you yeah. said, yeah, he's, he's coming home. No, I, I, I think I was guided more by Danny Green. I mean, you know, <laughs> as I said at the time, I think I'm 42, so maybe not have had as much heartbreak as, as some, but I, I, I've, I've seen a very good England sides foul and disappoint on numerous occasions, so... Maybe I was a little bit reluctant to, to commit at the time, but I'm glad Danny Green and his positive energy um, made me say he is coming home. So. And so, are England going to win on Sunday night? If so, what's the score and who's scoring? Uh, I think we'll go 2-0 and I think it'll be uh, Harry Kane and a Mason Mount, I think, will come up really? with a good on, uh, on, uh, on the weekend. Interested. Right, Searchy, hopefully your prediction is correct and uh, we'll catch up Tuesday night at Cray yeah. Valley. Thank you. Thank you.